Welcome back to episode five on matchmaking and match listing. It's important to distinguish the difference between the two. Matchmaking is the process of finding online players that are also searching for players to play with. This is useful for when you want to find an opponent for a game, to connect a player with a team, or to connect a player with similar ranked players. It's very important to note, however, this does not search for a match for the player. Rather, it only searches for players that are also looking for players to play with. The matchmaker groups these players together based on the criteria they've set in their search query. For example, you can configure the matchmaker to only search for high level players or players in a certain region. This can be hard coded in your game, or you can let the players choose themselves. Let's take a look at Halo as a real world example. On the right, you can see that the player is searching for players to play with. Once Halo's matchmaker finds other players that are also searching to play, it will put everyone together in a pool. Once the criteria of 10 connected players have been met, it will proceed to find a game to put everyone in. We can then connect all these players to match using a token that the matchmaker provides us. This token enables the server to know that all of these users want to play together and will create a match dynamically for them. Tokens are short lived and must be used to join a match as soon as possible. The match token is also used to prevent unwanted users from attempting to join a match that they're not meant to join. The matchmaker cannot be used for hot join patterns where players jump into existing matches. It only works to find players and start fresh matches with those new players. It's also worth noting that a player can also be in more than one matchmaking pool at the same time. For example, to search uh, multiple game modes or to search games that have different rules. Match listing, on the other hand, is just a list ongoing authoritative matches. You can filter matches using the label field to fine tune your search results. An example we can use is Armus 3 server browser. This is useful if you'd like your game to have a more granular server search system. The camera uses Belev search for its search query. With this, you can create powerful filters to find exactly the game server a player is looking for. You can find opponents or matches based on these property filters giving either exact matches or ranges of values. This example searches for opponents that must be in Europe, but can be between the ranks of five and 10. Let's take a closer look at our tic-tac-toe game. In the last episode, we mentioned that we're using the find match RPC function. An RPC function is a way to execute server-side code through the client. This is useful for creating functions which can only be run on the server. Looking at the find match RPC function, we can see how it finds our matches for our players to join. Here, we set a query to find matches that are open and are either fast or at normal game speed. We then extract the match IDs if we found any available matches, and then we send them back to the user who requested it in this function. If there are no matches, we create one for the player and then send that off instead. This way we can ensure that the user always has a match to join when they click that play button. We can then use the match ID it returns to join the match in PhaseJS using this line of code. And that's how matchmaking works for our tic-tac-toe game. As you can see, the camera provides a wide range of powerful tools to create the matchmaking experience just right for your game. Like always, you can visit the Heroic Labs documentation page to find more detail on how matchmaking works, including more code examples. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.